Hello everybody, welcome to this new playlist which is meant to have a, a global societal impact. My offer was, well, send me a picture of your workstation on which I can see you as a whole and I will answer with some comments. Uh, it can also be a video of how you carry your children or anything that is related to your daily life activities and how you carry them out. Today we have our first picture which is from Brazil and Aurel is on the picture. I hope I pronounce your name properly. If not, please uh, my apologies for that. Aurel is um, telling me that he has been suffering RSI which is repetitive strain injury i.e. musculoskeletal disorders, you know, it's uh, the, uh, the umbrella name for neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, so I don't know where exactly where Aurel has pain, um, but basically he has been suffering pain and we see on the picture that he has been really doing great efforts to, um, to, to find ways to, to, to get it right. So we will basically advise um, Aurel um, in different uh, things that we can see on his way station. Well, again, the first thing I want to tell you, Ori, is that you're doing a great job. You have really uh, put a lot of effort in, in doing things right. We will apply uh, postural rule number three, which is say, we s posture is always built from bottom, i.e. from the feet to your head. So I'll always start the analysis with what's happening here. What's happening here is two things. You see here, we see that your feet are activating a, a mouse. That's what you told me in the mail. So for, for you guys, instead of, of having a, a hand activated mouse, which can be quite stra strenuous in the wrist and in the forearm, already has chosen to, to, to use uh, things on, on his feet. Per se, it's true that it removes the weight from the hands and the forearms. It has a drawback though. And the drawback is that it makes, it creates some kind of potential instability in your feet. What I suspect here typically is that you see your right foot is slightly higher than your left foot, which means that you, you could be, I'm not saying you are, I mean, you could be tilted to one side. Not sure, okay? So this is the, the one thing. Bear in mind that your feet are here to exert pressure on the ground so as to push you against the lumbar support of the chair here. So it's very important that these things are stable and somehow having a firm contact with your feet may contradict um, the, uh, the fact that you use say a, a foot activated pedal may the other thing we see is that your chair is not on wheels but is on um, uh, is fixed basically you can't slide it back and forth it has pros and cons the the good thing about it is that well if it's adjusted properly it will stay there the bad thing is that it creates some kind of fixity and i will come back to this idea of fixity in this case, I suspect that the chair is slightly too close to your workstation, which we can see here, uh, in the distance between this corner here and uh, your hip joint, and in the position of your shoulder blade. This is a subtle thing, but I'll come back to that. So here, you see, the, the chair is probably um, slightly too close to your desk, and it's stuck there. Um, now let's move upwards. We see that, I mean, some, I mean, clearly, despite the fact that you have your feet on the on, on the mouse and things, you seem to have a firm contact on the floor, and your knees are ninety degrees, and your hips are comfortable. So all this area is perfectly fine. You're doing a great job here. Many of you people may be surprised by the fact that there is a very small backrest here. You see, it's just holding the belt, no more, no less. There are pros and cons here also. The, 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 the good thing about it is that well, to carry the weight of your, of your spine, you just need to support the, the, pelvic, the pelvis. In other words, when you get tired, you will slouch 
in your pelvis and the rest of the spine will follow. So supporting the pelvis makes perfect sense and this is a very good reasoning. The drawback is that you have only one posture which is all right. I mean, you cannot recline for resting or things. And this again may lead to some kind of fixity. It's good to be like this, but in a posture like that, you really need to take super frequent, frequent breaks, sorry, because yeah, your pelvis is supported in one position, but no more. So this is okay, provided that you change posture every 20 minutes or so. Okay, let's go upwards. So this uh, lumbar support here, just for the record, should be one, padded, so that it doesn't create pressure points. Two, it should be adjusted at belt level. I mean, just to show you, belt level is this. It's where you can feel the two bony protrusions behind your belt. So, in my opinion, what Oreo does is perfect. You're doing a good job, man. What I see, however, is that you see your spine is recline is, is slightly backwards. It's like two degrees back. You're kind of like this instead of being slightly like that. I will link in the comments of this video a video that may be very useful for you, which is on how to find a neutral sitting posture. And you will see that when you're sitting in a neutral sitting posture, you're slightly forward. Where, whereas here, you seem slightly, slightly, slightly backwards. The impact of being slightly backwards is that your head is slightly forward, yeah? And if your head is slightly forward, there is strain in your neck. Why are you slightly backwards? Probably because you're slightly too close to your desk. Probably it would be a better idea to be five centimeters, i.e. two inches, more back. Now, I see that you have cut a circle in your desk here. Per se, why not? Good idea. But, you know, the question is why? In the sense that usually we do these kind of things when we need to, you know, move left and right. Here, you seem to, to be just working straight in front of you. So, I don't necessarily see the point of, of this cut here. You could very much keep this, you know, as a straight line and bring your keyboard closer towards you, okay? And what is the impact, you may tell me? Well, again, it's, it's fixity in the sense that it creates an edge here and this edge will, you know, yeah, kind of be tight around your pelvis. When there's um, a rounded part on the, on the front edge of the desk, the, the radius of this part is around 50 centimeters. So you have, say, a, a circle of one meter in width. So this radius is, is a bit too small. It should go more or less until here, you see, here after re the remote control. If you would like it to have a radius which allows you to have some kind of mobility. Now, I've said that your spine is slightly backwards, but I see that your shoulders are relaxed. Um, we can come back on the idea of no arm rest. Um, and I will link a second video on that because the fact that you have no arm rest is okay, but it's only okay if you're leaning slightly forward and not slightly backwards. So I will link two videos here, that's important. Your wrists are straight, that's all good. I see that you have your keyboard which is reclining backwards. Why not? It keeps your wrist straight. Just be aware that the impact of having a backward reclining keyboard is that you will extend your wrists, sorry, your fingers a bit more so as to reach more forward. The angle is not that clear. I don't know about the height of your, of your screen. It doesn't seem too bad. Uh, it could be a little, little bit too high, you see? The screen should be, you take your line of sight and it should be 10 degrees below. So here it could be slightly too high. I would not be surprised if you would need to lower your, uh, your screen 
by two inches here. So, so somewhere around the top of the Google would be the top of the screen. But, I mean, if I want to summarize all that, the thing with the feet doesn't worry much. What worries me a bit, uh, 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 a bit more is the fact that you're slightly backwards and that your whole setup looks like a rigid setup, i.e. this is something that we see a lot in people who have had pain. They're trying to find the, the pain-free position and somehow they're stuck in this, in this pain-free position. I'm okay with you having one position uh, from which you don't deviate too much provided that you take a break every 20 minutes and that you do the relaxation exercise that I'm going to link in the comments every 20 minutes. So be aware of that. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm moving a lot on my chair whilst being seated properly. It's quite an important thing. So, okay, just be aware of that. Try to create a bit more mobility in your daily rhythm and push your chair back 10 centimeters so that you lean slightly forward, yeah, rather than slightly backwards. And many thanks for your participation in this playlist. If on a private note you want to send me a posture, um, a picture, sorry, of your corrected posture, I will gladly uh, comment it uh, privately. <laughs>